Hi everyone, it's Katrina. From living for hundreds of years to trying to replicate Jurassic Park, here are 10 facts about dinosaurs that will surprise you. Number 10. Dinosaurs weren't the first large lizards that ruled the Earth. We often think of dinosaurs as the evolution of lizards that ruled the Earth, but they weren't actually the first to do so. Dinosaurs as we know them evolved during the Triassic period around 230 million years ago. This was at a time when all the continents were merged into the supercontinent, Pangaea, and they first started to develop in what is now known as South America. Before this, though, there were dominant land lizards called archosaurs, a word that means ruling lizards. Technically, dinosaurs were archosaurs too, but so were crocodiles, birds, and pterosaurs. By far, the most dominant of these species were the prehistoric crocodiles, of which the 235 million year old crocodile like monster, the Teleocrator, was one. It was only by the beginning of the Jurassic period, about 200 million years ago, that dinosaurs truly ruled the roost. Number 9. Their days were shorter. Life on the planet was very different in the time of the dinosaurs than it is now. Earth was far more geologically active, so volcanic eruptions and earthquakes were more common, and the continents only started to separate about 175 million years ago, more than 50 million years after the first dinosaurs were born. That's a really long time. Furthermore, the days were shorter, and the years were longer too. Earth took about 23 hours for a full rotation, and it took 385 days to complete an orbit around the Sun. The tiny increases in speed that are caused by the Sun and the Moon eventually add up over millions of years, and in 200 million years from now, days will be even longer and years shorter. The Moon, too, would have appeared very different to the dinosaurs. It is continually moving further away from the Earth, and 200 million years ago would have been slightly bigger in the sky than it is now. This would have meant, for example, that solar eclipses were more common, although lunar eclipses would never have happened because the Earth's shadow wouldn't have been enough to blot out all the light that reached it. Number 8. Lifespans How long do you think dinosaurs actually lived for? The same as humans? Longer? Or shorter? The true answer might just surprise you. While we don't know for sure the lifespans of prehistoric creatures, scientists from a variety of disciplines have theorized about the answer. If you think of the similar animals that are alive today, giant tortoises can live to 150 years old, crocodiles and alligators can survive into their 60s or 70s, and some birds can live to practically 100. In general, larger animals live for longer than smaller ones, so 25-pound velociraptors probably wouldn't have lived much longer than 10 or 15 years. But what would this mean for the behemoths like an Apatosaurus? Many paleontologists believe that bigger dinosaurs were able to achieve homeothermy, the process by which their bodies warmed up slowly in the sun and cooled equally slowly at night. This is an efficient mechanism for temperature regulation and would mean their internal temperature was virtually constant. For this to work though, they would have to be cold-blooded and therefore had a slow metabolism. If this truly was the case, then there's no reason why the largest of the dinosaurs couldn't live for multiple centuries, perhaps reaching ages of 300 or more. What do you think? Do you think the dinosaurs could have lived for over 300 years? Number 7. Jurassic Park Would Be Impossible Ever since Michael Crichton's book was published, people have fantasized about the possibility that Jurassic Park could become a reality. After all, it's based on scientific fact, right? For those of you that don't know, the idea was that dino DNA was gathered from bugs that had fed on them and became trapped in amber, leaving all the pieces for scientists to extract the DNA and birth a dinosaur. Ta-da! Easy peasy! While it's entirely feasible that remains could be found encased in amber, a discovery in 2012 showed that the next steps would be completely impossible. Sorry guys. Scientists studied a series of remains of varying ages and found that DNA itself has a half-life of around 521 years. In other words, it breaks down by half for every 521 years that pass. This would mean that with current technologies, it would cease to be readable after 1.5 million years. And even if it were kept in the ideal conditions, every bond in the DNA would be destroyed after 6.8 million years. With the final dinosaurs dying out about 65 million years ago, there's simply no chance that any genetic material remains. Sorry guys, they've already tried! Ice Age creatures, though, are a whole other story. Number 6. 
the most intelligent dinosaur. You may have heard theories that some dinosaurs required two brains to be able to function, and that others lacked any intellect whatsoever, but this may not be entirely accurate. The Troodon, for example, had an unusually large brain for its size. They were small bird-like dinosaurs that lived during the Cretaceous period about 76 million years ago. Standing at about 11 feet tall, their brains were bigger than seen in modern-day lizards, and were on the same intellectual level as today's birds. One of the reasons it's thought they had so much more brain mass is because they also had much larger eyes. They lived in cold, dark North American habitats, so would have needed to gather all the available light to see their surroundings, something that in itself would have provided a greater amount of visual data to be processed, which requires a larger brain. If the dinosaurs hadn't been wiped out by the KT extinction 65 million years ago, could the Troodon have evolved to human levels of intelligence? We'll never know for certain, but it sure makes you wonder. And now for number 5, but first, be sure to subscribe if you're new here and click that notification bell so you don't miss out on the latest videos. Number 5. Mammals Existed Alongside Dinosaurs Dinosaurs certainly ruled the world during their time, but did you know that mammals also lived alongside them? Sure, it took the extinction of the giant lizards to allow other species to flourish, but evidence has been found of mammals existing far before this. All mammals today can be traced back to those that were around at the end of the Cretaceous period, around 66 million years ago. But these creatures themselves were related to so-called mammaliforms, who were present as far back as 203 million years ago at the start of the Jurassic period. In a world dominated by T. rexes and the giant sauropods, for a long time it was believed that the only mammals that existed at this time were small mouse-like creatures that scavenged food at night to avoid the threat of the reptiles. A recent discovery in Poland, though, has cast doubt on all of this. Known as the Lisowici bojani, it looked like a cross between a rhino and a turtle and weighed in at a massive 9 tons. This ancestor to mammals was alive around 200 to 250 million years ago, the exact time that it had been previously thought that all animals, apart from dinosaurs, had evolved to shy away from the dangers that were present. Of course, humans weren't anywhere close to living alongside the dinosaurs, but evidence of the presence of early mammalian ancestors has forced paleontologists to rework their understanding of how the world was at the time. Number 4. Their fleas were huge. If you've ever had a pet with fleas, then you'll know how annoying the small pests can be. But that was nothing compared with what the dinosaurs had to contend with. Fleas were thought to have evolved alongside mammals, but in 2012, scientists in China found a couple of Jurassic-era examples, including the Pseudopulex magnus, with the name magnus specifically chosen because of their size. They were many, many times the mass of modern-day fleas, in some cases measuring more than an inch long. To make matters worse, they were well adapted to feeding on dinosaurs. They had large beaks that looked like syringes, used to saw in the skin to draw blood, and unusually long legs, thought to be their method for holding on to dinosaur scales so that they could go after their meal. These creatures would be horrifying if they were still around today, and are thought to be one of the earliest forms of parasites to have ever been discovered. Blech. Number 3. Dinosaur Extinction Was Slow we often think of the meteor strike that killed the dinosaurs as a fairly quick event, but rather than a fireball encasing the world and causing an immediate extinction, the process was actually much slower. In fact, it could have taken hundreds or thousands of years to fully take effect. The impact at the Yucatan Peninsula caused the world's climate to change. Temperatures began to drop, and far less sunlight was able to penetrate through the dusty atmosphere. This in turn meant that vegetation struggled to grow, and would have severely impacted every food chain. The largest dinosaurs were the first to die out because so much sustenance was required for each individual to survive. Food supplies soon ran out for them, and the effects trickled down to the smaller animals who were able to continue for longer. Some of those that lived in the remotest regions would have outlived everything else, but they too finally succumbed to the effects. Of course, not everything was wiped out as a result of the events that led to the extinction of the dinosaurs. As we've already seen, the early ancestors of mammals managed to survive, and so did a number of other species. Number 2. Almost all dinosaurs had feathers Scientists' views on what dinosaurs looked like have changed drastically from when fossils were first discovered, but even recent ideas of their scaly appearance, like those seen in Jurassic Park, are now outdated. It's now thought to be fairly certain that most dinosaurs were covered in feathers. The latest development in this realization came from Siberia, where a 160-million-year-old fossil with evidence of feathers was found. 
Previously to this, a number of others had been discovered in China, but these had all been theropods, or members of the raptor family who we now know were the ancestors to modern-day birds. This new discovery of a four-and-a-half-foot-long two-legged runner, however, was of a dinosaur from a completely different branch than the theropods, and has led researchers to believe that the ancestors of all dinosaurs were feathered. Even more surprising was the location and types of feathers that these dinos appear to have had. They were structurally very different to those seen on any other animal or bird known to science. No one is entirely sure what they were used for, but it's clear that these creatures certainly couldn't fly, and may simply have developed them as an efficient means of temperature regulation. Number 1. Dinosaurs Still Exist Today Despite the stories of the extinction that wiped out most species of dinosaurs, the surprising thing is that they still exist to this day. Sort of. It depends on how you look at it. All species of birds are directly related to meat-eating dinosaurs, in particular the theropods, of which the T-Rex and Velociraptors were members. Birds evolved from the smaller species of theropod, though, and have been found in the fossil record as far back as 150 million years. These birds were far different to those we see today, looking more like dinosaurs with viciously sharp teeth. Over time, birds evolved their beaks instead of teeth, and they were one of the few types of animal that survived the extinction event at the end of the Cretaceous period. Since then, over the following 66 million years, birds have been able to flourish, and there are now more than 11,000 known bird species. While they are behaviorally very different to how dinosaurs were, they most definitely are related to the terrible lizards that once roamed our planet. Thanks for watching! Let me know what other video topics you'd like to see in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you later, alligator! Bye!